Sanctum Genesis. It's the prequel to the Sanctum series uh, that is quite a popular sort of horror series um, about a secret cave system that holds a demon, the devil within it, and people who discover it and what happens thereafter. The, this is the prequel to it. Uh, for, before we have a look at the book itself, just a quick thing to say, this is in the European size format, so it's slightly wider than a normal um, hardback you would get in a standard size for sort of uh, American format. But if you have a look at the um, book in comparison to others, it still fits on a shelf perfectly well, it just might stick out a little bit. Uh, right then, let's have a look at the book. Okay, so got the book here, it's got a nice drawing on the hardcover, no um, dust jacket or anything but you don't tend to get those with the humanoids books. You do get one of these uh, little tabs so you can keep place in the book. And we've got a nice brown liner cover, front page and then what's useful is a list of books in the same universe which it's a shame more books don't do. Um, also list ones by the same artists if you're interested, so you've got Pandemonium which is really good, Shadows of Salamanca. Um, but you've got the Sanctum Redux and the main Sanctum book as well. I would say definitely check out Sanctum if you're looking at this book because obviously it's the story that inspired this one. Now, this one starts off um, back in 1220 AD. You've got some crusading kind of knights going into this temple with a priest. They encounter a Satan-like looking demon. Um, he has got a name, Mot, M-O-T. Um, with an umlaut, I think it is over the O, and everyone starts killing each other and themselves. Uh, the priest escapes, and the cave system seemingly lost. Then you have a expedition that uncovers the cave system. There are people in the desert trying to conceal it. I think the people in the Brendan Fraser Mummy film are sort of guarding the guarding the area. All the people in Indiana Jones that are guarding the uh, the Holy Grail. The Nazis get involved in it and send out their own man and they obviously have nefarious reasons for doing so. Now there's a sort of love triangle in here as well with a politician, sorry, an archaeologist's wife and there's an evil Nazi commander and there are strange things going on in the camp. Um, there's a bit of power struggle that I don't really want to go into because that spoils some of the plot points but people start getting affected by the cave system and Mott's influence and things start to go awry pretty quickly. Now it's a story that does have some slow spots. Um, there are bits where you think why on earth um, can't this move a bit faster and then it does pick up pace. I think this is somewhat hamstrung by the fact that you've got the original Sanctum story that was written first and so they're trying to write around that and create inroads for that story without creating obviously plot holes at the same time. Now I won't show you the last pages but suffice to say Mott has his way um, but the one that you can see is this which is the start of the original Sanctum book so there's no spoilers there that's literally like page two or three of the first Sanctum book and you see them approaching the, the the entrance to the cave system underwater okay so that's the book in itself yeah it's a nice story it's got some slow points as I said but it's a good one to have in the collection. Humanoids always do an excellent job of producing their books um, in hardcover format. It's just a shame they don't have uh, better print runs on them because uh, they tend to go out of stock quite quickly. I'm still waiting for a order on the Shadows of Salamanca for when it comes back into print because I think that'd be a really good book to have as well. Also look for Pandemonium too, the one about the uh, asylum. Uh, that's, that's, a, that's a good one as well. But look, let me know what you think. Um, Please feel free to like and subscribe and check out the website and the Instagram and thanks for watching.